Barry Eugene Wilmore, Captain Navy. An amazing place. I mean, it's as long as a football field, as wide as a football field, with, with the trusses. Um, I did do spacewalk, got qualified for spacewalk, so I did four spacewalks while I was, you know, there the last time. Uh, I've got almost 26 hours in, in space and on the spacewalks, doing various things. And you think about, I just think about being in a vacuum, a hazardous environment where blood boils at 63,000 feet above the surface of the earth. And you're way higher than that. So if something happens to your suit, you're done. So it's a hazardous environment. We go out in these suits. It's a one-man space capsule is what it is, shaped like a man, all self-contained. And we go out and we work on the outside of the space station. And we do it successfully. And that's pretty amazing to think about it. And again, the views. Wow. Look down. I'm on the outside of the space station. I look down and there goes Hawaii. It's 17,500 miles an hour. That's what we're traveling. And you're going, I can't believe it. Again, oh, here's a, a quick story. I'll make it short. Okay. I'm on the middle of the space station. I'm going up to a toolbox that's up there to get a certain tool. I come around the corner, and there is a radiator that we used when the station was really small because the electronics in the station build a lot of heat. You've got different fluids that transfer it out to these radiators and dissipate the heat into space. Make sense? I come around the corner. I know the radiator's there. We don't use it anymore. I know it's there. What I didn't know, it's reflective like a mirror. And I come around the corner, and all of a sudden, I've never seen me in a space suit head to toe. I mean, I'm looking out the space suit, but I've never, I've never looked and seen me. And for the first time in my life, I see me in, reflected in this in this radiator. Not perfect reflection, but pretty close. And I'm like, dude, I've raised my visor. <laughs> it was me in there. And you look to the side, that's when Hawaii went by. And you look out and you know it's on the light side of the orbit, you don't see stars because the light of the sun drowns it out, drowns the stars out, but it's black as black and silhouetted against the, the horizon and the beauty of the blue and the horizon and the blackness. And you know, look out and look back at that guy staring back at me. And honestly, I said, I thought, how did you get here? Of all places, Tennessee, you know, raising chickens and cows and had a horse and how did you get here? And again, by the grace of God, the Lord allowed it, like I said. But to be in that moment, try to put yourself in that moment, on the outside of the space station, going at 17,500 miles an hour with Hawaii going below you, zipping by. Wow.